This is problem number five from section 5.1. In this problem it says, use a finite sum to estimate the average value of f on the given interval by, partici by partitioning the interval into four subintervals of equal length and evaluating f at the subinterval midpoints. All this is asking you to do is first of all use a finite sum and use a midpoint formula with four rectangles. Okay, it's a lot of words to simply say, use a finite sum, four rectangles using the midpoint rule. And they want us to find the average value of f. So what are they really asking us for there? Well, they're asking us for what's the average height of this function over this interval? What's the average height? If we think of rectangles that way, we're, we're looking, what's the average height of our rectangles there? How do we find that? Well, to find average height, or the average value, we're gonna write this, I'll say average, we'll say average value, and then I'll put in parentheses, this is the height. What can we do? Well, we can take the area and we can divide it by the width. So we want to find the area uh, under the curve, essentially, and divide it by the width. Well, we know the width. Right now, the area, we don't know. But we know the width is from 2 to 10. That's the width of our interval. So we're going to be ending, we're going to end up taking whatever we get for an area and dividing it by eight, and that's going to be our height or our average value for this problem. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and start drawing the graph. Um, we're in the first quadrant because two to ten, so we're going to mark this out. This is we'll call this two. This is. 10, I'm going to mark this up here to be 1 and this to be 2. We need to split it into four uh, sub-intervals, so meaning just four rectangles. So we're going to split 2 and 10 and obviously 2 plus 10 is 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 is the middle. And the middle between 2 and 6 is 4 and the middle between 6 and 10 is 8. That's one rectangle, two rectangles, three, and then four. But they want us to use the midpoint, so they're going to have us find the midpoints, which are, this is three, five, seven, nine. I kind of like to mark this with arrows just so that you know that these are just midpoints. These are the endpoints for our rectangles. Now let's start to evaluate some stuff here. <clears throat> We want to know what, in order to graph this thing, we need to know f of 2, f of 4, f of 6, f of 8, so on and so forth. So what's f of 2? Well, f of 2 would be 3 over 2, which is 1.5. So we'll mark 1.5 right here. What's uh, f of 4? Well, f of 4 would be, uh, let's see... 3 over 4, which is 0.75. So this is 0.75, which would be about right there. What's f of 6? Well, that's 3 over 6, which is 0.5. So f of 6 would be a half, which would be about here. What's f of 8? That's 3 over 8, which is 0 0.375, 0 0.375, oh, about right there. And then finally, f of 10, that'd be 3 over 10, which we know is 0.3, so it's just a little bit lower right there. So this is what our graph looks like here. All right, now we want to uh, go ahead and use the midpoint formula on this 
on this problem. So we want to go to the midpoint, draw some rectangles so when we find some areas. So midpoint here, draw the rectangle. That's going to be rectangle one. Midpoint, draw the rectangle. This is rectangle two. Midpoint, draw the rectangle. Rectangle three. And again, midpoint, draw the rectangle. Rectangle four. All right, we're gonna find the areas. And once we find the areas, we're gonna divide it by the width, which is eight. And that'll tell us what our average height is for each of these. Okay, it seems pretty simple. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll say that rectangle one, the area is going to equal uh, two, which is our width, times f of three. Well, let's see what f of three is. I'm gonna write these out here. f of three, we know f of three to be, let's see, one. We plug three in, we get one. So we get two times one, which is two. Area of rectangle two. We get two times f of, its height is gonna be f of five. f of five. Plug five in here, we get three fifths. So we'll write three fifths. And that's two times three over five, which is six over five. Area of rectangle three, two times f of seven. So two times f of seven, write that here. That's three over seven when you plug it in here. Which you get six over seven now. And then finally we're gonna do area, rectangle four. That's two times F of nine, because that's the midpoint, right? And we know F of nine to be three over nine. So we get two times uh, three over nine. We can reduce that, that's actually one third. We'll write that there. So two times one third, which is two thirds. So our total area is going to be two plus six over five plus six over seven, plus two over three, which equals, so two plus 1.2 plus uh, six divided by seven, plus two divided by three. And I said 1.2 for this, because six over five is 1.2. I get 496 over 105. Remember, that's the total area under curve. Now this is our area, but we're really trying to find what's the average height here, right? What's the average value of f? What was the average value of the uh, f function as it uh, dropped uh, here from the x value of two to the x value of 10? What was the average value in this region? Well, that's really just the average height. And we, I would assume the average height would be somewhere like maybe right in here, in this area here, and we'll see. So we go back to our beginning. It says area is, uh, the average value is area divided by width. We have our area now. So down here, we're gonna say uh, 496 over 105 divided by eight. And we're gonna take that divided by eight. That gives you 62 over 105. 
and 62 over 105 is our average value of F for this function or our average height. 62 over 105, all that's going to be, let's estimate that. So 62 divided by 105. If I put that as a decimal, that'd be 0.59. Well, let's look where 0.59 would fall. 0.5 about right here, 0.59 a little higher. So about right in there. I would say that's somewhere in, somewhere in this region there would be our average height, which makes sense for the problem.